How's it going? Thought we'd show you us feeding the fish. They haven't had a lot of food for the last few days, have they? No. I've had a few pH issues, so I've been laying off the food. So the pH is now back up to 6.2, so we thought we'd give these fish a taste of their new food. So it's a new food from Growbest. We've previously been feeding them the um, little barra floating pellets they came with. So do you want to just hold that while I fix the camera, please? Don't mess your chocolate cookie up with the food <laughs> so these little fellas crying out for a feed so as you can see I don't think we'll have a problem swapping them over to this new pellet size so, and so they're very happy they're getting a decent feed they've been having a few lettuce leaves and beetroot leaves and and the odd grub from the garden but just no high protein food in the form of pellets so that's nearly all gone wow there's a few bits around too a few bits around there yeah well, i might give them a little bit more and we'll see how they go with that just pour a few in whoa 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 that'll do don't want to overdo it just ran out of battery lucky i had one in my pocket so give them another lot oh there's one circling oh there's a couple circling Funnily enough, um, we've only got about four that have got the little black um, spots that the jade perch normally get on their side, so I thought that was something interesting. But we won't keep these guys in suspenders much longer. Here we go. They just flashed in my face. Yeah, might well, just leave it for that for tonight. We'll give them some more in the morning. And we'll check the pH again in an hour or two. Trying to check it about six o'clock every night. So. These are the six mil pellets, by the way, the perch pellets, so... There we go. Well, I might as well do a bit of a roundup. Like I said, we've been having a few pH issues. We had it down to 5.6, and I was using the Eco Rose. Someone mentioned you can use Eco Rose, and yeah, so I used that. And I brought, it brought it up a little bit, but what I think was happening was when I was dipping the test paper in here, I was touching rocks that had some Eco Rose residue, and it was giving me an artificially high reading. So, anyway, um, thanks to Rupert, uh, put me onto Slack Lime, Bricky's Lime. So I've been mixing up a, about a dessert spoon in there with two, three, three litres of water, and just pouring it through about a litre into each of these large grow beds every day. Um... Yeah, so the pH when I tested it at lunchtime today, it was 6.2, so it is coming up slowly. When I was filming this, I didn't sort of explain what this thing right here is. This is a bag full of um, shell grit. It's the same shell grit we give our chickens. And the idea of this is the acid water will wash over the top of this and slowly break down the shell grit. The only problem is I don't think these bags are really permeable enough, so what I will be doing sometime there is water in there um what i will be doing is um, making up some shake off bags the water the holes are a lot larger the water will actually run through the holes um and yeah just break down the shell grip and make the water more alkaline so there's another one under this one over here and another one over under the other one so i just don't think they're allowing enough water to come through we've got a lot of germination of shallot or green onions going on in here at the moment so I'm pretty happy with that um, oh just to show um, Mick as well these are the lavender we put in and that's the rosemary we've got two more rosemaries they've really taken off and two more lavender we had a fourth rosemary but yeah he just rotted didn't do too good oh and the pepinos um, hitman suggested this that's Mayer's experiment um, these are some chocolate mint one pepino so I was like one potato, two potato, one pepino, two pepino, and three pepino out of the five from in here. So pretty happy with that. The yellowing of the leaves, I think, is because I've laid off the food. I've also done a big um, iron feed and a double cap of sea salt in each of them. So I think it was a combination of the pH and a few other things. So hopefully it'll pick up this week. Now the fish are back on the feed and all the pellets have been eaten. Doesn't take long. These mini... Um, Beetroot Wassamu doing gave me the seed for. They're going great guns. We've har harvested a few of them and gave some to a visitor the other day. The parsley is still in flower and everything over here is going great guns. Strawberries are kicked back up, um, picked back up in here. The lettuce is doing really well. 
the bull's horn, it'll break your heart. Hey, I had about 40 on, I lost half of them. And Dale Calder uh, posted a clip on making pickled peppers or pickled capsicum, if you're from down here. The same day as I pulled off all the half blown ones, I cleaned them all up and made up um, two little jars of pickled capsicum and I threw a whole heap in the freezer as well. So we got some pickled capsicums in there. There was one that had came off red yesterday. So I pulled him and he was half slosh. So I see there's another red one up in here and he's been hit as well. So I'll pull him up and show you what I mean. There you go. You can see the little black dot there where the fruit fly stung him. If I'd known earlier, I could have saved most of this one. But yeah, that's the maggots. The maggots are eating it from the inside out. And unfortunately, I didn't realize I had two capsicums bagged in this bag and this one was fine There's a green capsicum for the um, beef ring dang tonight, so I'll just throw him in there That's really disappointing. Hey, especially since those fruit fly traps were supposed to be the bees knees But anyway, you get that. Maybe I've put them out too late. Who knows? But I have made up some little homemade jobbies and put them in there. No flies in there as of yet. But there are fruit flies in here and I thought they were doing fairly well. But yeah, that's one that was immune to its power, came through and just decided to sting everything. But I went through this morning and I had a good feel and all the rest are firm. So I don't, I think I've taken off all the rotten ones and I am bagging up new ones as they come. Like this one here, I bagged up two smaller ones yesterday and I'll bag this whole head up down here once I finish with the bag I've just pulled off down there. So anyway, this constant flow bed, the water chestnuts, same as the ones in the soil, they're, they're not doing too well at all. And I'm thinking they all need a lot more sunlight, so at least with the ones in the barrels I can move them. But I saw um, MHP gardener, Bobby, over in America, His, um, he does aquaponic, uh, hydroponics, sorry, and he was talking about a new uh, well, a floating raft system today where you don't have a bubbler. You leave um, parts of the roots exposed before they go down into the water. I forget the name of the technique. But if this bed just goes kaput, and all these um, water chestnuts, that's the main reason we've got it, I might try one of those style rafts here, because I can take the balls out and put them elsewhere or just store them for another time or top up another bed and try one of these rafts. Yeah, but other than that, this bed's going all right. The lettuce are going fine. Um, these are the ones we've been picking for the perch. So, and that's just a little mustard down in there. This kohlrabi, I should have sprayed it with some molasses a while back. I've got the molasses there ready to spray it. I just, I don't know, been lazy I suppose. But you can see the whole little arms coming out. New little, like, mini kohlrabis off the main one. This one here is Thomas. We're supposed to eat him with Thomas. So Thomas is the name of a um, friend's child. So this was named uh, in honour of him. Um, what else? We've got some more kohlrabi. Um, four kohlrabi. There's the other one down in here and he's been eaten by bugs. No, I'll spray them tomorrow. So, another kohlrabi over there. So there's five. And we've got bok choy. Uh, bok choy, sorry. So we've got some bok choy in there. Multiple seeds in these little cocoa peat pellets. Um, what some are doing gave me, so. And the warrigal greens have um, carked it over there. But that's all right. I've got two um, peppers that'll take over. And I've also got a warrigal green, thanks Joy, that sprouted in the seeds, so. Just look at this flower head in here. All the seeds in there. So there's already a whole heap that have fallen and germinated. And there's a little Thai basil in there. So anyway, a bit of a disjointed update, I suppose. But yeah, pretty happy with the way everything's going. The only other thing, celery. We're trying some celery. One, two, and there's a third one not in here. So two, two celeries in there at the moment. So anyway, I will call it quits there, so. That's pretty much for it. I'll wrap up now. Uh, any comments, questions, suggestions, drop them in the comment section below, as normal. Fish jumping. Um, yeah, and yeah, I'll get back to you. Lost my train of thought. Uh, we've got a Facebook page as well now, so if you want to have a look at the Facebook page, I'll put a link in the description below. Nothing too flash and exciting, no giveaways yet. So, anyway, I suppose that's it. Catch ya.